Wednesday. For today's Word Wednesday, I am going to give you guys an overview of what we have learned about this month. And today's Bible verse is Joshua 1.9. I will give you a few seconds to get that out. Alright guys, before I tell you guys about this Bible verse, I will pray with you guys really quickly. Lord, thank you for bringing all these people here with me today. Thank you for letting them listen to my word this month. And I hope that they have been touched and that they will, that this series has just helped them to not stress about the incoming school year. I love you, Lord, and I hope that everyone is just touched by your word today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright guys, so what this Bible verse is telling us is to not be upset or afraid. Don't be angry because God is always going to be with us. And I thought this Bible verse was very significant to what we're learning about, what we've learned about this month because we don't need to be discouraged about going to school. We don't need to be angry or upset. We don't need to stress because everything we do is going to be in God's name. And God will always help us through everything. Whether it's a quiz, whether it's friend drama, whatever it is, God will help us through it. Okay, on week one, we learned how to deal with bullies and we learned that we should ignore them if anything just ignore them immediately if they're trying to tear you down we also learned to tell someone if it's getting rough or you feel like you can't take it anymore tell someone about the bullying and tell someone that you trust um we also learned on week i mean on our third point of that week we learned that we need to pray to God and read his word to find what he's trying to tell us find what he his advice find what he would tell us if he was right in front of us speaking talking to us what would he say on week two we learned how to deal with bad grades and we learn to not be angry, to just calm down and look at what happened, look at what you did wrong and redo it. We learn that we should study and work harder. Um, if you didn't study the first time, make sure you study the second time and make sure you try to do your best to get a good grade on in that class, on that test. And the third thing we learned is to pray. And I told you guys about how I pray before every test, every quiz. Um, and it actually works. It helps. It calms you down. And it just helps you, helps to relieve the stress. I also said to, don't, to not give up. Don't give up on yourself. Say, oh, whatever, I got an F. I, I can't do any better. You can do better. And God knows you can do better. I know you can do better. So don't give up on yourself. On week three, we learned how to show Jesus in school. And I told you guys to wait for the right moment. Wait for the right moment to tell your friends, invite them to church, tell them about Jesus. Um, look for a good conversation starter. Um, our second point was to be a good example. Be good examples for your friends. And don't give them a bad impression on Jesus. And don't make them think that God isn't good. Um, and our third and fourth points were to not give in to temptations and to distractions. To just keep that all away from you and know what God sent you here to do. Know that God sent you here to make disciples and to tell others m more about him. Our On last week, our fourth week, we learned how to have fun in school. 
and I told you guys that even though it may seem impossible, there is a way to have fun in school. And I told you guys to relax, just chill out and don't stress because everything is going to be okay at the in the end. I told you guys to not care about what others are saying and to just do you. Don't have fun for other people. Do something that's fun for you, not for fun for your neighbor or your friend. It may be fun for them, but it's not going to be fun for you. And it could get you into a lot of trouble. Our third point was that everything is going to work out. That God will always be there through everything. No matter what you do, what happens, God will be there for you. And those, that is basically what we were talking about throughout this whole month. That God will be there for you. God will always be there when you need him the most. And whether it's in school, while you're working, during a quiz, when your friends are totally against you, God will be there for you. And that's something that I've been trying to stress this month. Don't give up on God. Always know that God will be there. That is basically our whole, what everything is based on this month. That God is going to be there for you no matter what. No matter what happens, whether you've got friend drama, whether you have a bully, whether uh, you got an F on a quiz, or if you're too scared to tell your friends about Jesus, ask God about it. God will help you through everything. If you remember anything during this month, remember that God will be there for you. No matter what. Especially when you need Him. Alright guys, not that we're at the conclusion of this video. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me ideas, shoutouts, prayer requests, questions. Today's comments question is how has this month impacted you and your life and what have you learned from this month's message? Um, I'm forgetting some. Oh, the prayer. All right, guys, let's pray together. Lord, I pray that people look to you when they need you, Lord, especially in school. And I pray that they have learned so much from this month's message and that they can go into school with a smile on their face and say, hey, this year is going to be my year and I know God will be there for me. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, guys, I love you. I hope you guys have a wonderful Word Wednesday. I'm so sorry that I missed last week's Fun Friday and Singing Saturday. It's been a rough um, two weeks of school because I'm getting so much work since I'm in all advanced and I have high school courses. So it's piling up. But I will make sure that I will get this week's Fun Friday and Singing Saturday for you guys. I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Word Wednesday. I hope that you guys have a great week, and I will see you on Friday for Fun Friday. Bye! I'm hungry. Okay, so... Our first point is to... Wait, no. I'm at week one's first point. This isn't gonna work. Hey, I should do this for a blooper.